Hi everyone, and this is Sam for BorderWork.com, and today we're taking a look at the Mad Cats Cyborg Strike 7. This is actually their premier gaming keyboard, and if you were paying attention to the site or following the site a few weeks ago, you would have seen you know, the unboxing for this. This actually comes broken up in parts. Um, I did promise after um, doing the unboxing that I was going to put it together, use it for a few weeks, and let you know what my uh, actual uh, impressions were. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, um, I've put it all together, and uh, I'd like to go through just a few key features on the keyboard itself. Now, first things first is the, mo is the standout feature of this keyboard, which is the Venom TFT LCD touchscreen. Now, I have no understanding of exactly what V-E-N-O-M stands for, but I'm sure it has some, it's, it, I'm sure it's, a, it's an apt acronym. So this is the touch screen which actually adds a lot of usability to this keyboard. It gives you the ability to change the backlight color, it gives you the ability to do macros on the fly, it gives you the ability to control your music, control the, um, you know, basically control the volume, and actually control other programs that you might use to supplement your gaming, things like TeamSpeak. Um, it might act it, so that it's a, so it makes the keyboard very, very useful, very um, almost very self sufficient without switching out of your gaming instance in order to basically switch your, any of your macros around. It keeps it all, it makes your keyboard the one stop um, spot for you know your for basically customizing your gaming experience. Now, on the left side of the board, you will see this other mode keys here. And these are all customizable. Um, these are four keys, and I, they have uh, alt functionality. And this is actually this is one of those keys that can actually be removed from the board and um, added as needed. So if you do not need this particular module on your keyboard, you can actually take it off without without any significant impact to your um, to your gaming. Now the other features here are the armrest, which if you look at this over here it does have a toggle right over there where you can lift and depress the left hand rest as well as for each of these palm rests you can actually extend and retract same across the board now what's really cool about this keyboard is also that um, it comes broken up into several different sections as I explained this um, function strip here is detachable the main keys as well are uh, the main keys or should I say the main key section is also detachable the number pad uh, section is also detachable as well as the uh, LCD monitor um, being detachable now the palm rest as well are all detachable as well so this comes in parts that you can actually put together or take apart um, based on your particular gaming um, situation. Um, using this keyboard was actually pretty straightforward. Um, it's really nice to be able to basically control your music from the keyboard, which is something that, um, you know, I sometimes play music in the background while I'm, uh, while I'm gaming, so this kind of helps me control that aspect of, um, you know, control that aspect of my usage while actually, without leaving uh, my gaming environments. Now, the keyboard, it's, it's really, really um, easy to recommend this keyboard based on features alone. However, when you start looking at the fact that you're spending about $300 on this keyboard, you now have to try to justify exactly what it is you're getting. But, and, and this is what I would say in my opinion, for $300 you're getting exactly what I would call the Aston Martins of keyboard. This keyboard is well built. Now, taking the part, um, t t just basically leaving the, the uh, aside that the palm rest which will be about the same on any um, keyboard is going to be a little more agile than the rest of the parts of the board just the screen itself hardly moves and just the build quality is very solid it's really impressive what Mad Cats has actually done with this keyboard now functionality wise with the LCD screen it basically comes off without a hitch. You can zoom in on, um, I'll zoom in on it for a second, I'll zoom in on the, um, 
on the LCD screen for just one second so we can see some of the functionality on there. Uh, we can take a look at exactly um, we can take a look at, let's see, the music function, right? We can play some music. You are the bestest. I will obey. Go forward. Go backwards. Pause it. Play it. Mute it. Unmute it. Reduce the volume. Increase the volume. Pause it. Right? So that really, you know, overall this keyboard really gives you a lot of um, customizability. Now, on most of the keyboards I've actually had to deal with, um, on my um, on my Logitech keyboards or on my Razer keyboards, the um, the changing of the back uh, the backlight was actually done through the software. However, here it could be done on the fly from the um, the touchscreen panel. Now, let's say I wanted to change my first profile from this really nice blue over here to a really vivid red. I can do that on the fly, or maybe change it to a more subdued green. I can do that. Oh, I guess that's a neon green, not a subdued green. I can change the level of intensity for each of these colors. Or I can mix and match and maybe even create a particular shade of green for myself. Now put some red in there. Or put all it up, put everything up and get it to a nice kind of bluish white. Now you could change it across each of these separate profile uh, profiles you have three profiles to choose from and you can change the lighting across each of these um, profiles so I'm gonna turn those down and leave it back at my really nice vivid blue now yeah so using this keyboard has been definitely a um, you know it, it's been a treat using the keyboard it, I haven't run into any major problems using it the build is amazing the software is easy to use the touchscreen makes it even at that extra level of usability it's really easy to recommend this keyboard as being you know a must-buy for anyone who is a hundred percent seriously into gaming however given the price um, tag of this keyboard I would say unless you're gonna be gaming professionally or you're just at that level where having all these extra keys and features really puts you at the top of your game then you know maybe go for something cheaper however if you really want the best of the best and I'm telling you you if you want the Aston Martin of keyboards then there really is nowhere else to go except for the Mad Cats Cyborg Strike 7 this has been Sam for BoardAtWork.com enjoy your entertainment